Especially no, no, this, this, it, 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 hold on. You're, now you're going to let me finish. This is the problem with modern women is you uplift people like Kim Kardashian and Megan Thee Stallion and Marilyn Monroe. Mel Marilyn Monroe was a fucking hoe. I don't know why we're even quoting her like, right now. I don't like these terms. I don't care. She it doesn't matter what you like or don't like. Marilyn Monroe was a garden tool. She was a girl that just did whatever she wanted with whoever she wanted. And that's the truth. And you should not look up to her as a girl. And you can't come on a show for men and say, I don't like how you're talking. Talk the way I want. No, you talk how we want. How about that? She was a <laughs> You're a <laughs> Okay, and? We're not talking about me. We're talking about her. That's the point. You can't redirect the conversation because you don't like the terms used. By the way, that's an ad hominem. Guilty as charged. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. You're a man whore. Yes. Okay, I don't cheat on her. We don't maybe, know. maybe I do. Okay, so let's, let's just establish this real business, quick. I mean, if she, a promiscuous woman, is a hoe. I mean, that's just straight up. No, I think that there's off. different words. Like, promiscuous is a more appropriate <clears throat> word than... Yeah, right. So, men should be using the appropriate words in your opinion because you're the boss, right? This is a demonstration of like female supremacy in 2023 society right this is a demonstration of the matriarchy right it's saying no you talk how we say you should talk and this is what happens when women infiltrate male spaces right so let's say you have like um you know let's let's think of a very male activity activity like a brazilian jiu-jitsu or whatever like a martial arts class or boxing gym or whatever so these guys, you know, they're in the boxing gym, they're doing their thing, and these girls, they'll come in, and they'll want to be boxing students, and they'll change the environment to favor women. And, you know, the locker room talk or whatever, no, you can't have that anymore, because, you know, the ladies are upset that, that, you're, that you're talking that way, and so on, right? That's the point. This is what this is. No, you don't get to police the language here. If you don't like the language, you can get out. Welcome to Fresh and Fit. We don't. We it's don't. Called, we, we it's say, called having a healthy have it's sexual called, appetite. Okay. Oh. Right, because a girl having a a healthy bedroom fun appetite, yeah, utterly ridiculous hogwash. A girl having a healthy appetite is not being the the town bicycle like Marilyn Monroe was. And it's utterly ridiculous to say that. By the way, women having a quote-unquote healthy bedroom fun appetite like this girl's talking about? Yeah, that's not good for girls. That's good for men. Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios, here for another reaction video. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to the channel, liking the content, hit that sub, hit all for notifications. Uh, if you'd like to support me, go to my Patreon, subscribe, patreon.com slash the Hedius blog. Again, it's patreon.com slash the Hedius blog. Drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian R, Tom M. Shout out to them. Link is in the description. Let's continue. Oh, so here we go. She was a hoe. If you, wanna, if you want to dress it up in that terminology, that's fantastic. But we're not going to do that. We don't, do that we don't, we don't no. speak that that's way. Right. We say what's on our mind and we just call it what it is. She was a promiscuous woman. Most people would consider that being a hoe and it is what it is. Oh, they're the Now, ratings. going back to what you were saying as far <laughs> over there, uh, Miss uh, Former Millionaire. My thing is the simple. The analogy I was simply saying is that can if I sell crack cocaine, okay, can we not call yeah, me that anymore? Well, it is what yeah, it is. But anyway, no, hey, so, hey, can um, we not call me that? Uh, uh, what? Who, who do you think you're talking to? Please, with a cherry on top and no, some cream. No, we like former millionaire. Uh -huh. All right, well, you're, you're gonna you're gonna chill out real quick, and uh, I'll think about it. But anyway, going back to what I was saying was if I sell drugs, sell crack cocaine, and the cops arrest me, I can't sit there and say, oh, you got to understand, bro. It was tough. I, I decided to sell drugs. They're going to put me in prison because I committed a crime. That is there are consequences to your actions. You can't go out and sleep with Chad 1, Chad 2, Chad 3, waste your youth, and then be okay later on in the future. No. Most women do not stick the landing. This is why by, uh, I believe it was 2040, they said, by 2040, 45% of uh, single women uh, uh, over the age of 30 will be single and childless. That's why. Because of this. 
So totally you cannot leave bad. different. No, 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 no. Really no, no, no. Really hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope. Uh, does really, someone really put a gun bad. to her and mouth and tell her take drugs? No. No. She did it herself, correct? And it's a personal decision. Does someone put a gun in my head and make me sell drugs? No, I did it because it's a personal decision. No, here's my point. <laughs> on one side, on one side we take no accountability. On one side we there do take accountability. There it is. That's the point I'm trying to make. If you drug overdose from your poor decisions in the past, having sex with a bunch of people, being labeled uh, a hoe, a promiscuous, because remember, this is what, the 30s, 40s? They, 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 they really made fun of girls that were promiscuous. So she made those decisions and she had to live with that. Oh, Can I ask you one question? Why aren't you labeled promiscuous? Because, he's because men and women are different. That's why. Because for a man to be promiscuous, he has to be top 5%. That's why. Because for a guy to get laid, he has to be the kind of men that other men want to be and the kind of guy that women want to be with. You don't realize that the world is not full of guys that you want to sleep with. I mean, you only see the guys you want to sleep with and you, and you, you know, you're mad at them. And I can tell you're mad at them because I can just tell by, by the way you act and how disdainful and disrespectful you are, the, the, kind of, the kind of way that these men have treated you. For a man to get 50, an end count of 50, it's a very impressive feat. It takes a lot of work. It takes self-improvement. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of charisma skill. It's not something that can just be done. Whereas a woman, all she has to do is not say no. And she can get an end count of 50 in three weeks. It's a man and not a woman. Because, exactly. Well, and that's the conversation. Indeed. Indeed. You're, um, men, why are men oh, here not, we go. Here not we go. taken I, down I got it. as a hoe uh -huh. and we're whores? Got okay. it. I, I, have I, I have the answer too. Okay, let me answer first. I mean, I already answered. Men, men, for a man to get laid with multiple girls takes a lot of work. It's very hard. It's very impressive. It's not just something that any guy can do. Any girl can do it. Just by not saying no. That's why. Can I, I, sure. Hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. What's the term for you? What's the term for you, boo-boo? No, no, check this out. Check this out. No. What's the term for you, boo-boo? Give it to me. Don't be rude. The reason why, the reason why men are studs, I need patriarchy. you to really You need to stop, yeah. Stop interrupting me. <laughs> I will stop. Thank you. Listening. Getting <laughs> dick for women is easy. People easy. People are not praised for doing what's easy. It is very hard for men to get laid. It is not very a hard. standard. It is a different standard. Ergo, men are studs. Women are sluts. That's it. That is then, not a very good point. <laughs> yes, it is. For women, the difficulty is catching and keeping a man. So if you can sleep with Leonardo DiCaprio once in your whole life, that doesn't mean you're Leonardo DiCaprio's level. If you can convince Leonardo DiCaprio to date you for 20 years, you're Leonardo DiCaprio's level. You know what that means? Leonardo DiCaprio has not found any girl on his level. And it's, it's nearly impossible to do so because he's one of the apex men, right? It's very hard for men to get laid. Here's why. Because in order to get laid, a man needs to be superior. Women are hypergamous. Women want men that are superior. A man has to be taller, stronger, fitter, faster, smarter, more friends, better friends, more charismatic, more money, more everything. Better in every single way than the girl. Better lifestyle. All of it. Can we say live in a whatever. patriarchy, and, uh, and that's why. False. This is it. False. We live in a patriarchy. We the, do. The, patri uh, the patriarchy has nothing to do. See, here's the thing. So Kessel, a woman, say Kessel, you, say you have. I get two words out, and she interrupts me every fucking time. Imag imagine, right? Well, wait. The response should be: Look at a finger. Is she married? We know why she's not married. It's so disrespectful. No, we're we're going. Back. No, 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 you're no, not. No, explain to us how wrong. wrong. Patriarchy, go ahead. So, sure. you have sex with twenty women, and then I'm sorry, I forgot your Devin. Wife. Devin has sex with twenty men. Mm -hmm. Totally different. Totally views. different. Yes. She's viewed yes. totally different yes. than yes. you because right. of the media. No, how no, it's not the media. No, they programmed nope. us to no. think about women and men. No, yeah. that's not why. Here's why. It's because of biology. Okay? Here is why. Sperm is cheap. Eggs are expensive. So for a woman to give away her eggs for free 
means that she doesn't value herself. Means that she's not a good bet for paternity. Means that if you get married to her, she's going to cheat on you and have kids with a different man and you have to take care of them and pay for them. That's why. That's the problem. That's why. For a man to get laid with multiple girls, it means he's very valuable indeed because sperm is cheap. So for a man to get laid multiply, like 20 girls, that's very impressive. That's like a classroom. I actually don't I mean, want to take that. I mean, I'm as old as I'm I am. As old as I am, I could walk into a bar and get laid tonight without Indeed. setting up a date, without anything. That so, doesn't matter. So yes, it does. What I'm saying is it it's does easy matter. to do. All right. For men to walk into a bar and get laid, they have to be accomplished. They have to have. So you're making drink. an they excuse. Have to be fit. Yes. That's they not an excuse. That's the fact. They have to have something to that's offer. An exactly. Exactly. That's not exactly. an excuse. It's not an excuse. It means the bar is much higher. It means the the bar to entry for men is like, you know, the tenth level of a building, and the bar to entry for a woman is the bottom floor. That's the difference. And you can't understand that because you're solipsistic. You have trouble seeing things from your own perspective. Uh, sorry, you have trouble seeing things from perspectives other than your own. And I mean, I'm not even that good looking. And I can just walk into a bar and just you're get laid. That's so, not true. So yes, what I'm, you're beautiful. What I'm trying to say is, is that our society doesn't reward your, you for doing what's easy. Indeed. See, women don't even have the capacity to really protect themselves. Indeed. So when women go out, they don't realize, okay, I'm born with this value. I have the world in my hands, mm -hmm. but instead I'm going to go be free and I'm just going to give it to everybody and, like, and just Destroy basically it. diminish my own value by yes. the time that I'm old enough to realize it, what I'm worth. Facts. I That's exactly right. Exactly. Perfectly stated. And girls need to hear that at 14 years old. Not at, not at. Um, 16, not at 30, not at 35. Women need to hear that at 12 years old, 14 years old. That. I've already given it all away. Mm. It's called being attractive and not attractive. It's called being a... No, it's not. There are girls out there very attractive. Okay. <sighs> Let's go back a few years, okay? To the... 1600s okay king of france he's gotta he's gotta get married who's he gonna marry is he gonna marry susie sheep herder who's slept with 50 guys because she's hot no he's going to marry a noble girl who is noble you know what another word for a, a girl who's noble is it means she has no end count by the way if they found out in those times that she had an encounter of even one, she would not be marriage material for the king. Now do you get it? Oh, well sweetheart. Trained. That's all, that's no, all, that's all it is. attractive men are hoes. Also, yes, we Indeed. Are. That is absolutely true. Right, but guess what? But, but here's the difference. Here's the difference. High, all of us are attractive in this high, Listen, listen. High status men don't commit to women who are hoes. They just don't. Don't but, commit. But... Women like, future, women like yeah. future, women like future, uh, women, <laughs> men like future Drake, Nick Cannon, Drake. they got bitches, they got bitches throwing themselves at him. Dude, Nick Cannon's got 25 baby mamas and he's, and he's probably got another bitch pregnant right now. Yeah, Why? he do, he do. Well, yeah, that's probably true. And, and the so reason, and stop, please, I, no, 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 I really, 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 hey, I'm going to ask you very nicely. Stop going off, please. Stop cutting me. Yeah, it's annoying. It is very, very difficult, even for high status men to get laid. People are rewarded and revered for doing what's hard. It's not easy for men to get laid. Even when I was at the height of my Vegas powers, I'm up to my dude, I'm up to my eyeballs and cocaine and strippers and all these cars. It was still hard for me to get laid. But literally, it's hard for men to get laid at every level at all times. It's true. Um, you know, it's funny. That these guys, these these artists, right? These uh, these musicians, etc. Um. These these artists, even though they have girls throwing themselves at them every second, it, they could say the wrong thing and still, the, and those girls wouldn't want to sleep with them. Whereas for a girl, she just has to not say, she has to not say no. It's so, like, 
ridiculously different. It's to the point of being almost unbelievable. The difference in experience between men and women. Any average looking woman could walk into a bar and, and she can get laid just like that. People are not going to revere you for doing what's easy. That's what, this is why studs are praised and sluts are admonished. That's it. And this is not, this is evolutionary biology. This, this has nothing to do, to do with the patriarchy. What's the first thing you call, what's the first thing you call a woman when you don't like her? Oh. You call her a hoe, exactly, oh, exactly. Oh, what's the first thing? Bitch. Bitch. What's the first? There you go. I call her a bitch. I call oh, her a bitch. bitch. She's not capping. The, 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 the women call each other hoes all the time. Oh. But when men, but when men call each other, we call them losers. Oh, you're an incel. You can't get laid. It's it's literally the same thing. So yeah, listen, you... literally, it's it's the yeah, it's the equivalent. Yeah, you call a man a loser when you don't like him because it means he's not a winner. Uh, he's the kind of guy that can't succeed. No, it's abs absolutely true. True facts. You can you make ask? all the excuses you want, but women are hoes and men are, men are studs. That's all there is to it. you have anything else you want to say as far as the patriarchy and everything else? Um, I think that when your point that you just tried to make, you men go into the club as vultures. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, we, yes. Absolutely true. I don't know what that has to do with studs and sluts, but yes, we go in, so we go in looking for women. A, no, like that's disgusting. No, that's it's not. Like, what? Why would it be disgusting to go to a place where girls are going to get male attention, win the competition for that attention, and get laid? What is, what is predatory about that? Or what is wrong about that? There is nothing wrong about that. And yes, men act as vultures in the sense that they look for weakness, so to speak. They look for the girl that looks to be the most um, available, obviously. Because again, getting laid is hard. That that's just how it is. Pray, you pray. The vulture prays. Ah uh, no! What? The vulture is not a predator. It's a bad analogy. The vulture is a scavenger. The vulture takes what it can get. That's why it's a good analogy. Because men take what they can get, right? So some guy, some some loser guy, might take you. But I wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. Your attitude is gross. Your attitude is so... Your attitude is so re repulsive, so reviling. I could not possibly touch you. What does vulture preying on, on women. women have women. to do with sluts and sluts? A, I think. How I think, dare you call a woman a slut? A because she's a slut. Oh, here we go again. A vulture no, scavenges. A woman is, is not a, a slut just because she has a sexual. No, it doesn't scavenge for the prey. Again, stop using these terrible analogies. None of you know anything about biology. Just stop talking, please. Appetite just like you do. <laughs> women and men are different. Okay. Indeed. I was gonna there say, you go. I, feel I like rest my has, case. I feel like it has to do with self worth. Too. Merch. Ooh, Absolutely I'm does. Let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Yeah, that's because that's because she knows she's wrong. You no, know, I'm not wrong. She, she is wrong. We'll Marilyn Monroe we'll is a slut. Later. <laughs> exactly. Most women can't love themselves unconditionally. Exactly. You can't love someone else unconditionally. Uh oh. I tell you, I think you. And uh -oh. honestly, if you if you really do love someone unconditionally, you're doing them no favors. Right. Because you're not at, you're not demanding their best from them. You're not demanding anything yes, from them. Okay. Yeah. Just be a exactly. loser, be an addict, be a whatever. Absolutely. Um, all relationships are a trade. All relationships are transactional. Every relationship that exists is that way. It's not just absolutely true. All relationships are transactional. If you as a man don't provide value, you'll have zero friends. Nobody will like you. Nobody will talk to you. Nobody will respect you. That's just how it is. And you, you definitely sure as hell won't get laid. That's for sure. And, and I'll just still love you. You know, like if I, I gain 50 oh, pounds, I if I gain 50 pounds over the next year, I'm he's not going to be attracted to me. Door. Indeed. But guess what? When I work out five days a week with a personal trainer and I've done that for the last three years. I'm in the best shape of my life. And I have Congrats, his attraction, you know, so what? I guess if he loved me unconditionally, I wouldn't be as healthy and as happy mm -hmm. as Indeed. I am right now. Absolutely. I, I agree with Muscle you, definitely. That's mm -hmm. facts. Um, facts. Okay, so on the, uh, going to the couch, what are your thoughts on the video or thoughts? Basically, Donovan is the kind of guy 
that holds women accountable, holds women to a certain standard, right? And if you don't meet the standard, well, it's gone. And guys, my recommendation for you in relationships is this. She has to convince you every day to be in a relationship with her. And if she doesn't convince you, the second that the disrespectful behavior is seen, that's already one foot out the door. If she refuses to fix the disrespectful behavior, gone, done. You don't need to deal with her anymore. She doesn't deserve the attention of a strong, hardworking, successful man if she isn't willing to put in the effort to maintain your attraction. Absolutely true. Thoughts on female promiscuity versus male promiscuity? I can, I can, I'll, I'll attack this after you guys go. Oh, yeah, I want to make sure, sure y'all get a chance. Kazakhstan, right. we can start with you. Well, I lost this track now. Huh? I yeah, I think because I'll go back and forth, they might have yeah. forgot the video. Do you believe in unconditional love? Yes, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Well, okay. Uh, going back to my life experience. Um, going back to my life experience. There was a guy who was a loser, he was sloppy, he was dirty, he uh -oh. he was broke. He loved me and he was like, why the hell can't you love me back? I was like, because you're broke. Because <laughs> all of these all things, these things. I have, all Absolutely. the currency rigs, he's like, what do you expect? And I have my friend who is all successful, he showed me he can be all that, he has a lot of potential, and of mm -hmm. course I would love him too. Okay, so you agree. Absolutely true, of course. All relationships are conditional. If you are a superior man, and again, women's love for you is dependent upon your ability to meet your burden of performance. So if you as a man are a winner now, but in two years become a loser, she won't be attracted to you anymore. And it's not just her. No woman will be attracted to you. So it literally, for men, it's like an all or nothing proposition. You meet the standard of all women, you get multiple women. You meet, or you meet the standard of no women. That's how it goes for men. It's all or nothing. And then you can choose to be monogamous with this. But she understands that you're the kind of man that other women want and other men want to be. And if she's not going to keep you, you can easily replace her. That's the point. Grew with the video. Uh, yeah, I can that love is conditional. too, myself. Okay. Uh, Miss Japan, me. what about you? Um, I don't think it exists, to be honest. Uh, unconditional, unconditional love. love. Yeah. Oh, you don't think it, it doesn't? Exists? Yeah. Indeed. Okay. Uh, why? Why? Why not? I don't know. I'm just always thinking of today's society. Like mm -hmm. nobody really, like, truly loves each other. Okay. So, yeah. No, that's not. That's not true. You can have genuine love, but the Disney love does not exist. The love that your mother gives you, for example will never be replicated by any other woman in your life. Uh, maybe your grandmother. Uh, the reason is because women can't love you unconditionally. They can't love you like a mother loves you. They just can't. They're not capable of it. Their love is based on what you can provide. And that's just how it is. Because of course she must love you based on what you can provide. Because the whole purpose of relationships is to have children and raise them. If you can't, if you can't pr like overproduce money, to the point where you can have a family. You can't have a family. Oh. Yeah, like, okay. It's like kind of temporary, in my opinion. Okay. All right, who, who do you think uh, who's the bigger Apparently perpetrator of not of <laughs> love being un, uh, non-conditional, -condi uh, women or men? Real it's quick. Who's Ooh. the bigger culprit of it being more uh, being conditional? Uh-oh. Conditional? <laughs> uh, I love women, but I feel like they're more of the culprit. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah. Uh, again, you uh, women have to qualify everything they say, right? I love all of you, but, you know, I'm just saying this because I have to. On this show, I don't really mean it. They're afraid of being kicked out of the group, right? Okay, on to the Reddit article. This was posted one hour ago. So the girl, uh, so, so he's 29 and she's 28. My partner will not give my children my surname. By the way, it's always in the title. Partner is a red flag. You don't call your girl your partner the correct word is girlfriend wife my girl it's not partner okay anyway i'm 29 and soon to be a first time father of twins my partner has a son from a previous relationship who is nine his father's still in the picture although i'm not very involved and he just has her surname since we got pregnant uh we've had this ongoing feud over the surname for the children she wants to give them just her surname 
I've offered the compromise of double barreled as I think is the fairest solution. She's been saying that she wants all the kids to have the same surname and she never wanted to have kids with different names. I don't think this is fair and would basically leave me as an outsider. Some of the concerns she raises that the twins may make fun of their brothers for not having his father's name, that she promised herself that all of her kids would have her name, and that I'm joining her family. So I need to understand that the decision is bigger than me. She's mentioned on a number of occasions that children default to the mother's surname and has explained that she didn't give her son the father's surname as she has a family friend that faced issues due to this, like having to get the father to authorize a bank account opening when opening the first account and being stopped at the airport. The other reason was that she knew that she wasn't going to stay with the father and um, the family traumatized her with legal threats and shouting at her due to this decision. My reservation is that I want my kids to have my name as it'll make it easier uh, to go to collect them at school. I don't want my kids asking me why I have a different surname, and I don't think any of the points she raised are reasonable. Where do I go from here? To give some extra con context, I'm currently paying for all the bills and supporting a mum. I've got a good relationship with their son, um, and I'm the only person working. I've been thinking about getting some legal advice, so I think this may be a deal breaker for me and may consider burning the bridge. At the same time, I know this sounds silly, but it's really important to me, and I know it's going to eat me every little time I complete a form and they say their name. But apparently, I just need to suck it up. I'm here as I've spoken to friends. And they'll obviously back me. Uh, yeah. Why would you ever be in a relationship with a single mother? You see all of the issues? Here is the true story, okay? She doesn't respect you, so she wouldn't dare attach her children's last name to you. Because you are just a wallet. Chad, who is the previous father, is the real man here, in her opinion. That's just the truth. According to her. Should never have gotten into this position. Okay, let's look at the top comment. Uh, okay, so this is a big thing for you and your, and your feelings are understandable. That said, this is one of those times where just because your emotions are valid doesn't mean that you should let them make decisions for you. The context you provide is very much about what you're providing, but I assume you didn't come to be providing all that because she forced you to. We came from a society that has traditionally had a lot to say about who takes whose names, and of course that will play a lot of games with your head. But have you put any real thought into why it's like that and why you need to, uh, why you feel the need to follow it? If it's really important to have all the same name, have you considered talking to her about taking her name? If that feels off to you, why? Roll that one around. Ultimately, if you make it a deal breaker for you, that's your right. But it's important to remember that the people who lost the most, uh, that they will lose the most are your children. So what she's saying is, suck it up. It's about the children, not you. The wife is more important than you. What you want doesn't matter. Yeah, this is a disaster. And we're going to end the video there. If you're new to the channel, liking the content, hit that sub, hit all for notifications. Go to my Patreon and subscribe, patreon.com slash theheliosblog. Again, it's patreon.com slash theheliosblog. Drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian R, Tom M here. Link is in the description. Thank you so much, guys, for listening to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time.